Hello, this is your friendly neighborhood school nurse, Miss Carrie. Today we're reading Sea Otter Cove, a relaxation story by Lori Light, illustrated by Max Stasiuk. The story today is a little bit different than the other stories I've been reading. This is called a relaxation story. Um, so you can either sit comfortably crisscross applesauce and watch the video. Or if you want, you can lie down on your back and close your eyes. And this takes a little bit more than 10 minutes. Um, and you just listen to the story. And the story helps you breathe in and out. So you're going to do the same breathing pattern that the sea child and the sea otters do. I hope you enjoy it. Congratulations. Welcome to Sea Otter Cove. It's fun to pretend that you are the sea child or that you are the sea otter as you imagine your own warm rock to rest on. Get comfortable, close your eyes, and enjoy breathing. A sea child sat on a large rock in the middle of a shallow cove surrounded by high cliffs. This was one of her favorite places to relax and clear her mind. Many sea otters would come to this cove to eat, play, and rest in the kelp beds that hugged the rock. The sea otters loved to drape the long kelp over their bodies and drift gently on the waves. This special place was called Sea Otter Cove. The sea otters liked to share their hideaway with the sea child. They all knew that this was a great place to rest, relax, and warm their bodies in the sun. The swirling colors of the rock were perfect for absorbing the sun's pure white light. The sea child loved how the heat felt as she made herself comfortable. She wiggled her body until she could feel her spine and back relaxing into the rock. She closed her eyes and listened to the sound of the sea otters playing in the waves that splashed against the rock. The rock stood strong against the ocean's waves. The sea child imagined that the rock extended down through the ocean and kept going, right through the sand, connecting her to the center of the earth. She felt safe and anchored. One of the sea otters was very playful and curious. He liked to hide behind the rock and watch the sea child whenever she came for a visit. Today he decided to come out from his hiding spot and lie down right next to the sea child. The sea child was happy to have company as she watched the seagulls flying above her head. A feather from one of the seagulls circling above her head began to drift down. The sea child laughed as she blew the feather back up towards the clouds. She noticed that when she did this, her belly got big and round. She liked the way that this felt. It reminded her of how she used to breathe when she was a baby. Another feather started to drift down toward her face. The sea child told the sea otter to put his hands on his belly and blow the feather back up towards the clouds. The sea otter blew the feather and felt his belly get big and round. The sea child explained that this is the way his belly should move whenever he practiced healthy breathing. The sea child told the sea otter to breathe in through his nose and out through his mouth or nose. He focused all of his attention on the tip of his nose. They both did this breathing together. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, 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 two, three, four,
two, three, four, out, two, three, four. The sea child told the sea otter that he could breathe this way whenever he felt angry or scared or nervous. He could focus on the air moving in and out of the tip of his nose and he could feel calm and healthy. The sea otter placed his hands on his belly and felt it lift up and down as the air moved in and out. For a few moments, they both did this breathing together. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. The sea child's mind began to wander. She started thinking about her plans for tomorrow. She imagined that her thoughts were a feather and as she blew them away with her next breath out. She focused her attention on her breath again as she drew in a breath of warm, fragrant sea air. She liked the way it felt to quiet her mind. She focused on the way the air felt moving in and out of her nose. She felt her belly lift up and down as the sea child and the sea otter continued to breathe together. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. Another sea otter noticed how calm and relaxed the sea child and her friend looked on the rock. She climbed up onto the rock and lay down right next to them. She began to breathe in through her nose and out through her nose. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. In. Two, three, four, out, two, three, four. Soon another sea otter playing on the waves noticed how peaceful his friends looked on the rock. He climbed up onto the rock and put his hands on his belly as he joined in with their breathing. One by one, all of the sea otters stopped playing as they too climbed up on the rock. They placed their hands on their bellies and began to breathe in through their nose and out through their nose. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, Three, four, out, two, three, four. Soon the whole rock was covered with sea otters. They all felt their bellies lift up and down as they joined in breathing with the others. Now the rock was pulsing like a giant heart, sending out a pulse of calmness that touched everyone and everything in its path. The breathing pattern was so wonderful and so powerful that it touched the ocean below and the air above. The seagulls flying above relaxed as they allowed the air to lift them up and down. Up, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four. Up, 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 two, three
two, three, four, down, two, three, four. The water was rising and falling as the ocean seemed to sigh. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. The rock, the ocean, and the seagulls became calmer, stronger, and centered with each breath. The whole earth was pulsing and breathing in unison. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, Four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three.